Hello. All right, so I told you on Monday that we were going to be working on building words, and so we are going to um, go through this PowerPoint together about building words. This is one of my favorite things that we start early in kindergarten. We used, uh, used to learn all the letters of the alphabet, and then we would slowly start adding words at the end. But the once you have a few letters in your um, letter bank, then you can start building words now. Why wait until the end of the year when we can start go ahead and learning those skills now? So I'm super um, excited about this lesson, and I think we're going to be able to do some great things. So um, we're going to start learning dictation today. And so what dictation is, is I will say a letter name or a letter sound, and you will write it on your whiteboard. So right now I want you to go grab your whiteboard, your marker, and um, if you need to, you can pause me so you can go get that. You're going to need it. Um, we'll also do this sometimes when we come into small groups. We just don't have a lot of time for it. We really need to be careful on how we spend our time when we come to live instruction. So I want to do this on as many videos as I can as well so that you can also do it with me. Um, and then when I do it in live instruction, I can kind of just see where you are so I know how to help you better. All right, so you'll need your whiteboard and your marker or a paper and pencil. I prefer whiteboard and marker because at the end we'll play a game called the eraser game and I want you to be able to play that and it's hard to play on a paper, uh, piece of paper and a pencil, but you can do it. You just have to mark your words out. So here we go. Um, I'm going to say it to you twice. You say it back to me twice. And then you will write it. Make sure you say it twice before you write it. That way you hear the, either the word name or the sound correctly. So here we go. Ah, ah. Now when you write this, um, you're going to write a lowercase ah. So I want you to give it back to me. Ah, ah. So now you're going to write the lowercase letter that matches the ah sound on your board. And I'll help you with this one today. So on your board, up here at the top, you're going to write A. Ah. That's a lowercase a, the A ah sound. All right, once you get that written, then we're going to move on. We're going to do the next letter sound. And if you have a virtual learning coach next to you, they probably want to check to make sure you're writing this the right way in the lines. If you have lines on your whiteboard. If you don't have lines, that's fine. Just make sure the formation is correct. All right, here we go. Next letter, lowercase b, lowercase b. Give it back. Lowercase b, lowercase b. Think about the direction of a b. You're going to, for a b, you write the stick first and then the bow. So, I want you to try to write that, and then I'll write it here. You check it. You might need to fix it. You can't remember what a B looks like. Uh oh. No marker disappeared. So you have lowercase a, and then for a lowercase b, it's a straight stick down and then a bubble. So stick first and then a bubble. All right. The next letter, uppercase F, uppercase F. Give it back, uppercase F, uppercase F. Okay, so you're gonna write an uppercase F right under your B. We like to write it straight down on our board. That way we have room. You might wanna turn your board, um, let's say letter-wise, portrait-wise, instead of landscape, so that you have more room to write in. A, B, and uppercase F is all sticks. A, B, F. All right, I noticed I'm kind of glitching. The um, internet is probably doing that, so I'm sorry if it's glitching on your end as well. Hopefully you can still hear me. A, B, F. All right. The last letter we're going to write today is a lowercase g, lowercase g. Give it back, lowercase g, lowercase g. All right, so remember for a lowercase g, it's an a with a tail, an a with a tail. So 
So you should write that on your board. All right, and then the very last thing we're going to do, oop, do it again. A, B, G. The very last thing we're going to write right here is going to be a slide, a slide. So we're going to write one slide, and I will help you a lot this time because we haven't written it before. All right, your slide is ba, ba. Okay, give it back. Ba, ba. So the slide is B A slide. B A slide. So you're going to write a B first, B, and then an A, and then we're going to slide it together. So B A slide, and we're going to stand that B A ba. All right. Once you have it written, I want you to go back to the top. We're going to read them down. I'm going to give you just a second to catch up because I know that bad takes a minute. Bad. And any time that I'm going too fast and you want to make sure you have it written correctly, then you can pause the video and have um, help your child or um, you can pause it if you need to take a minute to finish writing and then Play it when you're caught up. All right, so here we go. We're going to read them down. Lowercase a, a. Lowercase b, b. Uppercase f, f. Lowercase g, g. Then we have the slide ba, ba. All right, now we're going to play the eraser game. What you'll need is just a piece of paper towel, or you can use your fingers. Um, I can use my fingers on this board, but you might not want to get all messy, so you might need a piece of paper towel, or if you have a little eraser, that works too. All right, so I'm going to tell you a word that starts with this sound, and I want you to erase the letter that you hear at the beginning of this word, okay? So first of all, we're going to go ahead and erase our slot, because we don't need it. We'll erase our slot. Let me fix my tail right here. All right, erase our slot. I want you to erase the word, I mean the letter, erase the letter you hear at the beginning of the word ball, ball. So what letter are you going to erase for the, the word ball? B ball. Should be this B right here. So you're going to erase the B. All right. Erase. The letter you hear at the beginning of the word goat. Goat. All right. What letter do you think that is? Yeah, it's the letter G. G, G, goat. All right. Erase the letter you hear at the beginning of the word farm. Farm. What letter do you hear at the beginning of the word farm? Yeah, it's the letter F. So what letter are you left with? You're left with the letter A. It's a vowel. Good job, guys. All right, we're going to erase this. You can put your board to the side. You won't need it for now. Then we're going to move right along. Maybe. Oh. There's already some words up there. All right, real quickly review the letter G. Lowercase g, uppercase g, lowercase g. G, g, g. G, 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 g. Then our slide is ga, ga, ga. Good job. All right, so we are going to work on building words. When we build a word, you start with the first letter. And what do we know about this letter? It's the letter what? B. And what sound does B make? B. B. All right. And when we put a vowel with it, now we have a slide. So we have B. A. We know B says B. What does A say? A. Ah. B. A. Ah. We slide them together. Ba. Ba. Then we're going to add an ending sound. So this is our slide ba, and we add an ending sound, and it makes it a word. So we have ba, g, bag. What is a bag? 
I have a bag of apples. It's just a group of apples, and it's inside my bag, something I carry things in. All right, so now it's no longer a slide. It's a word because it has meaning to it. A slide doesn't have any meaning, but this makes me think of something I know, a bag. It's a word, and it also has a vowel in between two consonants, which makes this um, a CBC word, consonant, vowel, consonant word. You'll hear us say that a lot. And when we write a word, we're going to mark the vowel in our word with an X at the bottom. This proves that this is a word, the ag, bag, and we marked it with an X. All right, so the word bag, when I slide the ending to an A, the slide is no longer a slide. It becomes a word, and we mark it with an X. So we're going to try some words. You're going to need your board again for right now. So if you put it away, you can go get it, or if it's right next to you, go ahead and get it out. And I'm going to tell you a word, and then we're going to work on writing it together. We're only going to do two because I know it is it's harder. So we're going to do two, and then we're going to read them together. Okay, so the first word we're going to learn is fad, fad. Give it back. Fad, fad. A fad is something that is popular for a little while. So like fidget spinners is fad. Scrunchies is a fad. You see a lot of people wear them or have them for a while and they disappear, they go away. So fad. Think about the sounds you hear in the word fad. Let's, we're gonna tap out our sounds. So ad has three sounds. Ad. What letter makes the sound? It's the letter F. So we're gonna write that on our board. What letter do you hear? What letter do you hear in the middle? A. Ah. What says A? Ah? It's the letter A. So we're gonna write that. Add. Add. What makes that D sound at the end? It's the letter D. So we're gonna add a D. Remember that's a bubble and then a stick. Add. So I'm going to mark my vowel. Remember, the vowel is the one that makes two sounds. And the only vowel that we've learned so far is the letter A. So I'm going to mark it because this proves this is a word. Remember, it has a meaning. The word fad means something that is popular for a little while. Add. All right. So in order to read this word, we slide the two letters together. Add. Fad. Then we add the ending. Fad, fad. Good job, guys. All right, let's go to the last word we're going to learn today. This word is gab, gab. Give it back. Gab, gab. Gab means to talk a whole lot. Someone who gabs talks a whole lot. Um, Miss Mitchell sometimes gabs. I like to gab when I get around my friends. It's really hard not to. All right, so let's listen to the sounds you hear in the word gab. There's three sounds. G, ab, g, ab. What's the first sound you hear in the word gab? G, g. What letter is that? It's a G, so let's write a G. G. What's the next sound you hear in the word gab? G. Ah, ah. What makes that sound? Ah. It's A. Remember we hold up our apple when we're thinking of A? G, ah. What's the last sound you hear? G, ah, b, b. What makes that sound? The letter B. Now the letter B is different from the letter D. Remember, we do a stick and then a circle. All right? So you can see the difference between the two here. Ga. We slide it together, gab, gab. All right, we know this is not a slide, it's a word. And what do I need to do to my word when I'm writing it for dictation only? So when I'm dictating, I'm telling you the word and you're writing it for me, we're gonna mark it with a X under the vowel. Which one of these letters is a vowel? It's the letter A, so we're gonna mark it with an X. 
So we have fad and gab. Y'all did such a great job. All right, so we're gonna go to the next slide and we're gonna practice these words. In order to build up to the words, I'm gonna say the letter sound, the slide, and then the word. All right, so here we go. B, ba, bag, bag. D, da, d, a, da, dad, dad. G, g, a, ga, gab, gab. I don't to talk a lot. Keep hitting the board. Touchy, touchy. A, fa, fad, fad. You just read four new words. Fag, dad, gab, fad. You are so smart. So very smart. And that is all for today. Y'all did so good. So you, you're going to listen to this lesson on Wednesday. On Thursday, we're going to do some flip-flopping this week. We're going to do math and then um, reading for those friends that meet every day. On um, my Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday groups, they'll be the same. But um, on those friends that meet every day, we're going to do some flip-flop. And we're going to start with math, and then we're going to read the next day. And the reason we're going to do that is on Thursday, after you've watched this lesson, we're going to work on building words and Greek. And so I'm super excited to see you on Thursday and get to see what you can do. All right. Y'all have a great day.